Hey guys, Modern anti Federalist, thanks for tuning in. This week we're going to be taking a look at how I have my battle belt set up in 2018 for use with the United States Marine Corps Reserves. So take this with you either for work with the, with the Marine Corps, Army, Air Force, or uh, Airsoft, whatever it is you do guys. But hey, hopefully this, uh, this video can, can help you out in whatever your application may be. Hey guys, so here's my battle belt. And the first thing you're gonna see is that I have my suspenders with um, supports going to the very front and the very rear. The suspenders don't really necessarily hold weight, but they do keep this belt from slipping off of you, which is really good if you have weird hips like me. And no matter how hard, how tight you make this, it still just likes to fall off. So these are a nice little feature to have. Okay, now this is just a Black Hawk belt. I have no idea what the suspenders were. I just bought them at the MCFs when I was active duty. Now my drop pouch is this little compact rig from Granite Gear. And I have it kind of pushed up front. Um, if I do any changes to this, it'll actually be I'll swap these two pouches. Do you know? Um, the drop, or this pouch right here, this general purpose pouch, is what I keep my night vision in, extra batteries. So I have this as a dummy cord. You can see batteries falling all over the place. So I have some one, two, three batteries for my uh, my tech. Um, I have uh, a strobe light in case I need a strobe light. I have extra AA batteries, lithium batteries for um, the PBS 14. All right, now I have on either side of this uh, big pouch, I have two canteens. I really like to use canteens over a camelback. Now, this is an old Vietnam era butt pouch. I have fallen in love with these because I mean, right now I have two MREs in it and I have space for more. Oh, cheese store, these have good snacks. M&M's are Reese's in it. Yeah, Southwest, that's another, another, another good one right there. Um, but you can put your uh, like your Gore-Tex top and bottom here, a couple MREs, and I mean, I have it kind of tightened up down there, so it only really holds maybe two MREs and a Gore-Tex top, but uh, this has a, a lot of room for activities. You can open it up a lot more, and I like using this butt pouch because I can fit a lot of stuff in it, and I, I don't necessarily have to carry a Camelback or an Assault Pack if I was going to a range or whatnot. And then finally, I have my um, my IFAC in here right on top. As soon as I open it up, looks like a crumpled up kill card. Um, but I have uh, two tourniquets I keep right on top. Next, I have some combat gauze, uh, this quick clot. This stuff is basically magic and how it works. So it, uh, it just coagulates blood. And I have a bunch of gauze and you know, we could keep going through and find like burn dressing and uh, uh, let's see what we got here. H compression bandage, another H compression bandage, gauze, gauze, triangular bandages, uh, more quick clot, um, petroleum gauze, burn dressing. So this actually shouldn't be in here. Um, we don't, you shouldn't use burn dressing if you get burnt, um, because what you should do is if you put this on, this actually limits what you can use when you go to the doctors or what they can use on you. So if you get a severe burn, never use burn dressing. Just go to the hospital and let them use what they want to use on you now. And so this also trans transfers into a military setting where, um, our corpsman pretty much told us to throw these away. I don't know why I still have this thing. Um, and then finally I have a big cinch abdominal, abdominal bandage. So that I guess if you were to get your stomach blown up, this would be something to help you out. But that's basically your, 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 all your CLS kit and or your IFAT gear. I can do another video on that, but that's, that's neither here nor there. So you've kind of gotten to see the contents real quick. But this setup, I find overall to be very, very useful because I don't have to carry an assault pack. I have two canteens, so I have plenty of water. 
available. I have my IFAC for when I'm on ranges as well as my drop pouch. I keep my MVGs in the pouch dummy corded so I'm never gonna lose them. And then I have this for all my admin purposes. So if I'm gonna be on a range all day, I can have this filled with food or you know my Gore-Tex in case it starts to rain or uh, some, some sniffle gear to keep me warm. You know, the, the sky's the limit on what you can do with this. And, and you don't want to say I have to carry a salt pack anymore. So yeah, that's uh, that's how we have this set up. Now, a few other things you can see is, I, I should run zip ties through this because gator clips suck. I have duct tape around the bungees that were on here to help seal it up. I, you know, just to make the gear look clean, I electrical tape, e tape the all of these little things, so I don't look like the Predator, all these little straps. These are always an evolving setup. This is how I have it set up in 2018. But this will probably be the last setup I ever do because I've uh, dropped back from the Marine Corps Reserves into the IRR and I'm no longer doing military stuff. So the channel might change a little bit in nature, 